hi my name is amber welcome back to my channel books and beaches so it is time to do my very first book haul of 2024 i know i cannot believe it i have made it all the way till almost the middle of march without doing a book haul and i did pretty good at the beginning of this year about not buying too many books uh i still got my book of the month books but i didn't really bring that many books you know, into my book life, uh, which is great. <laughs> it wasn't really intentional. It just, I just didn't bring that many in. Uh, and then I went book shopping this weekend with some friends. <laughs> uh, we went down to Madison and basically instead of, you know, bar hopping, like we would have done in our twenties, we went bookstore hopping. So I thought what a perfect opportunity now to come and show everything that I picked up this past weekend and kind of everything that I picked up in between. So uh, my lighting is a little off balance today because we've got some beautiful natural light streaming in daylight savings. That is one positive thing I will say is it is going to stay lighter longer and the temperatures are gorgeous right now in Wisconsin. So let's go ahead and take a look. I am going to start with my entire pile of book of the month books. So let's see what I've picked up so far in 2024. Um, my first book that I picked up was my January pick and that was First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston. I have heard really, really good things about this book. Um, I know a lot of people have really been enjoying it. So hopefully I'll be picking this one up sooner than later. Uh, I'm slowly working through my list of book of the month books, but you know, we shall see. So that was that pick. Um, I also believe I picked this one up in January. I'm having a hard time remembering when I specifically picked this one up, but I think it was January. And that was Only If You're Lucky by Stacey Willingham. I do have this one off of NetGalley, but I figured it was going to be a book I would want on my shelves. So I went ahead and picked that one up. Um, and I just, I love this cover. Um, and I, I think this one is getting good reviews. But it could be one of those that's getting a little bit of a mixed review too. So, I don't know. We shall see. Then, I believe, yep, this one was my February pick. And I love this cover. This will be no shock. This is The Resort by, I think it's Sarah Oaks or Oach. You know, I did the same thing when I put this in my new release video. Um, but, I mean, I love it. I, I just love this cover. Um and on the back it says, it was a vacation to kill for. So I have not heard about like too many people reviewing this one. I know I saw other people pick it up, but yeah, we shall see. And it, it does say she thought it was the perfect getaway. So there's that one. Oh, one I am so excited for. And this one I have started reading. I had the arc of it from NetGalley as well. Um, and this one actually does not come out until next week, Tuesday. So this comes out on March 19th. Um, but it was obviously an early release for book of the month in the March box. And that was Kill For Me, Kill For You by Steve Kavanaugh. I, oh, I am only a few chapters in, so I can't say too much about this yet. But I loved 13 by Steve Kavanaugh. I know I talked about that when I talked about this in my new releases video. Uh, so I was super, super excited to see this as one of the picks. Um, but it says she will kill your worst enemy and all you have to do is kill hers. So I was pumped to see that as an option. And then I am so glad I always check the add-ons before I like submit my box for shipping because had I not, I would have missed out on this one. And like I said, I'm so glad I did because I picked up Murder Road by Simone St. James. I love Simone St. James. I was looking forward to this book. This is probably one of my highly anticipated reads for the whole entire year. Um, it was one of those that I requested and got turned down for, which like I said, happens all the time. Um, and so, so, so happy I checked the add-ons for this one. And it says, you know, a young couple find themselves haunted by a string of gruesome murders committed along an old deserted road in this terrifying new novel. So, Cannot, cannot wait. Um, and I have so many books I want to read on vacation. And more than likely, I'll only bring my Kindle. But all of these books that I've picked up are so, so tempting. 
All right, now the rest of these are kind of a mix and match. A lot of them I picked up this past weekend, but some of them I did not. Um, a few of them just have come in randomly here and there. Uh, these first two though, these first two were gifts and these were gifts from um, a book exchange that we did uh, during the BookTube Besties weekend. So Brittany from Rescues and Reads, uh, I will be sure to link her channel below, organized like a gifting train uh, for those of us that were in attendance. And it was so much fun. Basically like you gifted, I think the person above you and then the person below you gifted you. Um, and so we got to include our Amazon wish list. And I was so graciously gifted the following two books um, from Patty Jo. And I was so excited because it's so much fun when someone picks off your wish list because you just have no idea what you're getting. Uh, so she picked out The Last Lifeboat, and this is by Hazel Gaynor. Uh, I can't even remember when I added this to my wish list. So when it showed up, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I totally forgot that was on there, which, like I said, is the whole fun part about um, kind of those gifting trains and the wish list. Um, and I guess this is inspired by true events. And it's shouted out by Kristen Harmel, which is kind of exciting. Um, and it looks like we're going to get two different, or same timelines, two different places. So um, if you've read this one, let me know what you thought of that. And then she also gifted me, because she is so, so kind, uh, The Burnout by Sophie Kinsella. And Sophie Kinsella is one of those authors that I have read a lot of her stories. Um, she is just one of those authors that I picked up a lot in like dare I say my youth and by my youth I mean like my like early 20s um but I I find her reads to just be like those good like light fluffy like break up all my thriller kind of reads and so this is one that I didn't have yet and I haven't read it and so I was really excited to see this one because I believe this is her newest release if I'm not mistaken yeah because it came out in 2023 um and I think it's about a single woman if I remember right so I'll be looking forward to picking that one up and how many times do you think I'll say that in this video <laughs> tends to happen a lot. Um, one book that I think I got passed on to me during my book club at one point, and that is Ellen Hildebrand's uh, Winter Street. I think this is the first book in this series. Obviously, I'll be saving this for next winter, um, but I have wanted to read this series. I like Ellen Hildebrand. I think her books are great, so I'll be saving this one for next winter, even though you have heard me say a couple times that I am not a huge fan of mass market paperbacks. I will take one if it's free and if it's from an author that I want to read. All right, so uh, let's see. I'm kind of trying to sort them into books that I kind of picked up this last weekend. This one was a book that I know I got from a Goodreads giveaway, and that was Meet the Benedettos, I believe. And this is by Katie uh, Cantungo. I know I pronounce her name probably wrong every time. I have read other books by her. This one I saw on Goodreads and thought it was interesting, and I forget what they compared it to. I, oh, it was the Kardashians Meet Pride and Prejudice. So not a huge fan of the Kardashians, but it perplexed me enough to kind of want to pick it up. And it says an A-list movie star moves to Los Angeles next door to a family of five eligible sisters. So we'll see what happens. All right. And so I think most of these either came from this weekend or books that I kind of picked up at a stop that I made at Half Price Books. And I was proud of myself because in our bookshop hopping adventure, I don't think I paid full price for any of these books. I found some fabulous deals. So yeah, I was pretty proud of myself. All right, so I picked up a copy of My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. I have heard amazing things. I think I just heard Jen at The Bookish Blonde talk about this one in her favorite thrillers video. I'll be sure to link that below. Jen is new to YouTube and I don't know what took her so long because she is doing amazing. So if you haven't checked her out yet, you should definitely go follow her. Um, but she mentioned this in her like top thrillers video. So I knew I had to pick it up and I know I've heard about it before too. Um, but it says you may have made some mistakes. You might have done some bad things, but you did them together for each other. Didn't you? So 
forward to that one. There's the phrase again. <laughs> Uh, this one I found on clearance at half price and my friend Nicole told me I needed to pick it up and when I'm only going to pay a couple of dollars for a book, why not? And that is Lisa Scottolini's uh, Look Again. She said this was a really, really great read. I think she rated it like a four or a five. Um, and I have liked Lisa Scottolini before, so I figured why not? Um, so this one begins with a single moment that changes one woman's, woman's life forever. So, and it basically says she gets a, have you seen this child flyer in the mail? And she almost throws it away, but something about it makes her look again. Then her heart stops. The child in the photo looks exactly, exactly like her adopted son, Will. So. <laughs> All right. This one, I cannot remember where I heard about this book before. So then when I saw it on the clearance pile, it caught my eye. And the cover's gorgeous anyways. So this is Birds of California. And once again, this is by Katie Contungo. Contungo, I don't know, you know, I said it before. So ironically, I have two books by her in the same pile. Um, and so the cover caught my eye. Like I said, prices caught my eye. Uh, and this one says sparks fly and things get real in this sharply sexy and whip smart romantic comedy set against the backdrop of a post Me Too Hollywood. So. I know I am a huge th thriller reader, but I do like to throw in a, uh, one of these every once in a while. And so wanted to add that one to the pile. One that I have already read, but I found it on clearance and I would like to have it as part of my collection because I have it on my Kindle. And though I can share like my Kindle with somebody if I'm willing to give my Kindle away, I don't always do that. I, I would be willing to maybe do that with family, but I want to share, you know, good books with other people too. So I found this one cheap and I picked it up so I can share with other people. And that is The Beach Trap by Allie Brady. I really enjoyed this book. Um, I discovered Allie Brady. I mean, I didn't discover them, but I discovered them as an author I would like to read last year. And so I've read two of their books. They are an author duo. Um, and I would say this is my favorite of the two. Uh, we basically have two girls that become really good friends at a camp and then suddenly realize they're actually half sisters from a secret relationship that their dad had. And they have to come together to fix up a beach house after their dad dies. So it's quite the story. And it just want, it was a book I wanted to be on my shelf so I could loan it out to other people. So there's that. All right, a book that I feel like so many people were talking about last year. And I love a good historical fiction every once in a while. I think I have talked plenty already this year about how I loved The Women by Chris and Hannah. It is quite honestly put me into a little bit of a reading slump where I'm still reading, but just nothing is comparing. Everything seems very lackluster compared to that. So I'm hoping maybe this will do it. And this is Bluebird by Sharon Cameron. And I think a lot of people had talked last year about how much they enjoyed this book. I want to say it was even a book that somebody at one of the book to best use retreats had brought up that it was one of the best books of historical fiction that they had read. So it says Eva is on a quest for cold hard justice. Uh, is it Ingi or Ingi? only wants to burn up her past and Anna is their dark, dark secret. So there's that. All right. Another book that I have read, but I want to share it because I think it was probably one of my favorites by this author is Golden Girl. And this is by Ellen Hildebrand. I had this off a of net galley and this was a book off a of net galley that I had let sit on my net galley shelf for quite a while because this book came out in 2021 and I read it last year <laughs> but I really enjoyed it probably like I said probably one of my favorites by her and so when I saw this book on clearance I definitely had to pick it up so this is a book that I want to share with other people so here it is all right and a book, another gift. This is a gift. This is a gift I received from my cousin. I think this was part of my Christmas gift. Um, and that is Such a Fun Age. And this is by Kylie Reed. So my cousin Amanda gave this to me as part of my Christmas present. Um, so I, I remember hearing about this one, but actually I can't recall what it's about. So it says, what happens when you do the right thing for the wrong reason? So I love the cover. Very fun 
So, and it was part of Reese's book club. And I love Reese Witherspoon, so. so. And I think the rest of these I did pick up this weekend. So, you'll see this cover. You'll know why it caught me, caught my eye right on the shelf as soon as I saw it. I know it says the word beach on it. All right, so this is A Stranger on the Beach by Michelle Campbell. Now, I was debating on whether or not I was actually going to complete my purchase on this one until Lindsay, I was with Lindsay at Lindsay's Little Library, said, oh my gosh, I love Michelle Campbell. And I was like, all right, perfect, because <laughs> I was debating and that kind of sold it for me. And so this one, I think it sounds, um, <laughs> well, it was quoted um, by AJ Finn as being uh, a rising terror, tide of terror to a finale blanched that blanched my knuckles an exceptionally suspenseful thriller so I was like okay and it's all about um this woman that has a beach house that's kind of supposed to be like you know utterly perfect um but her husband's lying to her her money's disappearing and there's a stranger outside her beach house so maybe I should take that to the beach with me <laughs> That would be my style. I like to read thrillers in the middle of the woods when I'm camping. Why not read a thriller on the beach? <laughs> Everybody knows it well. All right. I love this cover too. I love the colors in this one. This is Good Girl, Bad Girl. And this is by Michael um, Robotham, I would assume. Um, and I can't even remember why, why this one called my name. But it says, sometimes you don't recognize a bad girl until it's too late. Um, and I want to say this is part of a series, but it, I think it's a series that surrounds around a psychologist. And so it's not necessarily that all of the books are going to be connected other than the fact that it's the psychologist as the main character. So, um, I picked that one up and then I picked up another one of his books, ironically at a different bookstore. I think I forgot that I picked up the other one and that is When She Was Good by Michael uh, Robotham. And this one, um, it says she has secrets and, um, and he needs answers. So once again, we have the same psychologist. Um, but so this girl was found in a secret room, but nobody has been able to determine her real name. And everybody that has tried has ended up dead. That's kind of all I needed to see. And like once I, like I said, I didn't pay full price for any of these books this weekend. I was finding some fabulous deals on clearance. So out of that one's the pile. And then two more. This one, I had never heard of this book before. And I don't even think there are that many reviews on Goodreads. But when I read this description, I, I think I even pushed it over to Lindsay and said, you need to read this. <laughs> So oh, this is All These Bodies, and this is by, um, I'm, I'm thinking it's Kendare Blake, but I could be wrong. Um, and it says, so much fear over one little girl on the back, but I, I just, I need to read you this. It says, 16 bloodless bodies, two teenagers, one impossible explanation. It says, summer of 1958, a string of murders plagues the Midwest. The victims are found in their cars and in their homes, even in their beds, their bodies drained, but with no blood anywhere. That was all I read. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and like I said, I was finding these books cheap. So I was like, I, I don't even know if it's going to be good, but I was like, I, 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 I have to pick it up. So. And then last but certainly not least, I picked up one more. This one, I I know I remember seeing it. I think it was on my new releases list. And that was The Wedding Party. And this is by L.R. Jones. And it says, welcome to the wedding. This party is killer. And so we have this couple that are hosts of the, uh, they were going to be the hosts of a wedding to remember in Colorado. Um, they're hoping this is going to be, you know, perfect day um and they've got like kind of like the perfect couple too and you know they say it's sure to be a wild night as the drinks flow freely and the fun begins but the morning after is murder so but those are all of the books that I've picked up so far in 2024 because like I said I haven't done a book haul at all this year so I'm sure 
that was plenty. But <laughs> we will see how long I can go now because clearly I have plenty of books to read and I was doing so, so good at kind of controlling myself. So what are some books that you have picked up recently? Anything that I should be adding to my list? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.